Now on the tee from Duluth, Georgia, Stuart Zink. Almost every conversation I have with my caddy is worthy of, uh, of this question um, being the, uh, the strangest conversation because we, we talk about all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, of course we talk about sports and we talk about our kids and our family stuff. We have a lot of that in common, but we definitely also talk about food and weird characteristics people have. It's hard to pick out one or two, but uh, we, we just, um, you know, we he's worked for me for 13 years, so we have a lot, a lot in common. We're uh, really close to I think golf is, um, unless you're Tiger Woods or Phil Mickelson or maybe just a handful of others, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to get your personality through the camera lens into the living room of the fans. And uh, they don't really know who you are. They may know how far you hit your eight iron and how many birdies you average per round, but that's not really who you are. So um, social networking for me, Twitter, helps me uh, identify with the fans and um, they realize that I'm a lot like them and it just helps with that connection that's really valuable and hard to, uh, hard to find. Well, I've always said just for little kids to play a lot is the best thing. You know, teachers have their their place and their value in a golfer's uh, career, but um, early on I think playing the golf course really is the best teacher uh, in the scorecard. Keeping score, putting them all out, and uh, just trying to shoot your best score. That's um, the course I grew up playing, I didn't have a range. So we never took lessons or anything. We just went out and played 36 holes a day when we could, and you know, I learned how to shoot 64, 65, uh, you know, even when I was in it bad. So, that was, um, that was the best teacher I could have ever imagined. And uh, once I learned that, you know, then it was time to refine the swing and the, the, the motions. But uh, learning how to score the golf balls, you know, something's hard to be, be taught.